because the word orchid itself is explaining basically what we are opposed to our parents our ancestors so orchid what's the aura was O water is O in French O A U the gold abbreviation in the periodic table and also in Egypt the god Ra right was light But what's the point of this light? This light is helping us become more conscious of our atmospheres. So conscious that we construct or build environments for the less conscious beings that we indulge with that we supposed to just be mingling with learning from and also help thrive so all the energies because the energy Look at the flower. Look at the orchid flower. The energy is inside the middle of that. Looking just like the Hindu statue right here. This is what they depicting. This is what really what they talking about. These, these, these orchid flowers. Or a flower period. Because it's a flower. At the same time, I'm saying floor, a flower. The purple piece on the flower is called a stamen, which helps connect the cords, the tissues. It's like Like, let me let me catch it. Let me catch it real quick because this is deep. Because in discovering this, well, not discovering it, but and just analyzing it, it's a lot of game in it. Like the the petals, right? You see around it are like your alternate cells receiving the light that you picking up after the fact. So it's like, and they call that on the orchid the floral axis, which the stamen would be the pole. Which wind travels, aka breath, to stir the material for further processing. The soul doing this the inner this the part doing it. That you don't even know how it's doing it, but it's doing it, and then you gotta channel it. We connected to everything.
through channels. They call them uh, Cations. All these names they call and all of this stuff, but through the names is how we going to dissect and realize where we are. Which is I. Look at this picture, man. A person, what we want to call it, with low cognition, wouldn't be able to do statues like this. Personifying how we intake in these, these energies. Because plants come and seeds come in two forms. Gymnosperm or angio. Gymno means naked. The old English used to say it like naked. But backwards is dokan. Dogon, Dokan, they first intermingling with the, okay, but another thing too, I wanted to point out, look, I drive a Toyota Corolla, we're going to get back on it, Toyota Corolla, a Corolla is a pedal also, so they're using natural gain natural information, universal, multiversal info, and we buying into it as consumers because we don't know no better. We don't know that it's a higher form of thought that's being brought by, brought to us, not in a benefit for us. When that could cause ease on the world if we just talk, we was more embracing. But angiosperm, I told you gymnosperm was naked. Angiosperm means vessel of the body. energy in the middle of the organ fire is going to assume a body plan 